All right, everybody, welcome to Let's Talk Crimes. I'm here with Francisco Marty, and today's topic is airport stops. What do you do, Frank, in the moment or situation that you get pulled to the side and are told to go into a room? What should you do? Hi, everybody. Uh, second episode since we came back to Let's Talk Crimes and the video. Let me put this away. So that's called a border stop. Let, let me, it, all of us in our minds, we have this Fourth Amendment that's been embedded on our minds that to search and seize you, they have to have a warrant. The truth is that in the borders, it's called a border search. In the border, which means a port where you're gonna go out on a cruise, an airport or anywhere where there's a border, a border to a country or a state. They have, meaning law enforcement have, ample authority to search you what ha under the patriot act and i'm sure many of you have heard of the patriot act so they can search you what do you do you do absolutely nothing you cooperate they can stop you they can search you they can ask you some questions you don't have to answer all of the questions and they can stick you in a room for a reasonable amount of time to to ask you questions and to either confirm or dispel any suspicions that they may have sometimes i'm going to take you another step there are times now where they're actually seizing your phone and seizing items, computer items. It sounds wrong. And I would probably argue that it shouldn't be, but it is and it's legal. Sometimes they keep these items, that's right. They keep them and they tell you they'll return them in two weeks. So what do you do in a situation like that? First, let me tell you why it normally happens. Sometimes there's an alert in the system. A federal investigator or state investigator is doing some type of investigation your name came up, you may be a suspect, you may be a person of interest, you may be somebody that you're, whose name just came up. And they put an alert in the system telling all the border officers, U.S. Customs and Border Patrols, that if they see you, they can stop you to ask you questions. Sometimes these agents even place this, in the alert, they place the questions that they wanna ask. And sometimes one of the orders is to confiscate the phone. Of course, they have to return it. Because remember, it's not being done under a warrant. It's being done under a border stop. So if this happened, folks, you have to go to an attorney. And the reason is that there's usually a reason why you were stopped. Maybe you go to an attorney and the attorney calls the investigator or the border patrol and doesn't gather a lot of information and you think that it was a waste of time. But the fact that the attorney makes the phone call alerts law enforcement that there's an attorney involved and it shields their, their inclination to overstep the law. So these are three to five minute segments. First thing you need to know, if you're in an airport and they pull your side, they can do it. They can absolutely do it. If you get uh, uneasy, disrespectful, and fight it, you're gonna have a problem. Cooperate. If they tell you that they wanna have to ask you questions that even to your surprise, are questions that you never thought they were gonna happen. My advice, and I think any attorney's advice is, don't answer those questions at that time because you don't have to, okay? But by courteously, I always say Marty's three C's, calm, collected, and courteously, you tell that federal officer that you may be willing to answer once you speak to your attorney. If these questions are being asked in a room, in an airport, chances are you are under some type of investigation. So that's my advice. It could happen. If you don't get the items back within the two weeks, then you definitely need an attorney to try to get them back. And that's it for now. I'm trying to keep it short. If you have any questions, please feel free to email your questions at let's talk crimes with Frank at gmail.com. You have a great day. All right, Frank, thanks.